the two elephants entered our city and started stomping over everything that came in their way. I'm Acadia Einstein, and this is Strangeful Things. Welcome, everybody, to Strangeful Things. I'm Katie Einstein here with Shuey, and we're going to tell you some fucked up things like we usually do. This is an animal-centered story. Um, how are you doing, Shuey? We don't get a lot of animal-centered no, weird shit. No. Usually the animals that we cover are fake, not real animals at all. Well, we don't know that they're not real animals. I'm, I'm fairly sure, but... You're right. Technically, really? I don't know for a fact. As a matter of fact, there's a cryptid that bumps up against our elephant story. Really? Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I went down an elephant hole on this one. But uh, elephant hole. Before we get to that, why don't you tell us what's new and good? New and good. <laughs> With the Katie and Chewy. You get me, yeah, we that's the new theme song. Get someone on five and gonna, jingle that up, and and then you can <laughs> cut it in every time. There you go. All right, so uh, I got a couple things this week. One, since we didn't do a show last week, um, I had just started my advent calendar, and now I'm up to date. What is today? The tenth. Yeah, of my Star Wars Lego advent calendar. Oh Lord, quality stuff. I love you looking at your face when I, I just say stuff like that just to oh. see you. <laughs> and uh, honestly, for real, the big thing was that I set up my media room, not yeah. with the final screen. So it's not perfect, but it's pretty fucking cool. And I can't wait till everybody can come over and we'll watch something. And uh, I was going right. to put porn on, but it made me feel very self-conscious. Um, yeah, you don't want I life-size I felt, porn star wangs on there. That, that Well, that's the problem. Like, I felt self-conscious watching, like, a like a 40-inch TV. So, so watch, like, a 100-inch TV. Yeah, that's no good. <laughs> that's not going to be good for anybody. I can't have that. But, no, it's, uh, it's awesome. It's a lot of fun. And I can't wait to you guys. I don't have a media room. So, what's your thing going? So, what do you got going on? I got, good? I got four monitors now. Four. Four? Yeah. You must have a good video. Oh, that's right. You got a new computer, so you have a good video card. And ain't right, I do. It takes a lot and of juice to run four monitors. Yeah, what do I care? I don't have any kids. I don't care what happens to the planet. What does kids have to do with how many monitors you have? The, the, the electricity. <laughs> my family my only has five monitors running. My, 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 yeah, some other kid has just one. <laughs> uh, because I'm using them all up. No, I meant from a from a, a, an energy standpoint. It is oh, super oh, fucking yeah. hot. Well, that's the thing now stuff. with like with like LED and and stuff like that. You know, ten of these is like one of our old fucking Magnavoxes. You know, no, that's true too. So my my new one, I put it in a, a special spot, and I, it's vertical, so that it it's basically a big phone. I like those. I used to. I used to have one like that because I didn't have room on the side for it to be the other way. Yeah, it's good for like looking at like uh, like Word documents and yeah. stuff like that, where you where you scroll down website. Also, super good for that meme of the really tall cat. <laughs> <laughs> that cat can be see super the, uh... tall on this monitor. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So. As I said, we're going to talk about elephants, and we got to we got to lay out a few ground rules. I think rules. Well, things to things to consider. I'll change it. It's not rules. It's things. Dude, to I don't consider. like rules. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. You're you're a rebel. I'm a rebel, Dottie. Uh, I'm a rebel. Dottie. <laughs> so. <laughs> so 
<laughs> this every the, you, you know that you have probably said and heard people say I prefer animals to people at least oh, one yeah. million times in your life. One hundred percent. Right. Everybody, you know, prefers animals to people. And that's good because, you know, the the rationale for it is the the animals can't help themselves. They're not. They're they're just if they're good, then they're super cute. If they're bad, then they're just acting on their own instincts. It's their nature. They can't they can't do anything about it. They don't have, I don't know, free will, whatever. But. See, I've learned a lot about that. And I, and I'm, I think you're going to get into it in a minute. Well, here's where I would. This is what I'm going to say. It, <laughs> animals killing jerks. That's great. They can do that all day. <laughs> like big game hunters, shit like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 Ooh, yeah. Yeah, like that. Anybody that's ever fucking paid a bunch of money to like fucking squid game a leopard and then get their fucking goony picture taken next to it. Yeah, you know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Like every one of those like Jimmy John assholes. or yeah, yeah, yeah. Donald every, Trump Jr. Yeah, every every fucking one of them can fuck off. And I wish that they would have to fight whatever animal it was without a gun. And then I would laugh when they lost. That said. How's your cat doing there? That's that's Archie. He he uh Archie is right up in your he, business with his he, tail. He heard that it was an animal centered <laughs> episode and he wants to be involved, I guess. So uh it so killing them all day. As a matter of fact, yeah, we could we could use a little more of it. But on the other hand, you know, evil evil woodchuck murders girl at lemonade stand, then you would root for the human. And <laughs> fucking woodchucks. Generally, generally, just in, in your life, if you come down to a person or animal situation and you don't personally know that the that the person is a piece of shit. Know the person? Well if you if you if you don't know for sure that the person is a piece of shit Save the person. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I got. I like animals. Yeah, I know, but there's seven and a half billion people. There isn't seven and a half billion of any kind of animal other than instinct insects because we've killed them. So yeah, but then, all right. Well, then I'll give you here. Here's my. If here's, it was between a white rhino and a person, there's like three rhinos left. I mean. I guess it depends on the person. Eh. But I will see your white rhino. Your your very inexplicable. Why would there be a nice person even near a white rhino unless it was? <laughs> well, they only live in zoos now. Zookeeper. They don't, yeah, yeah, they don't yeah. have them in the wild anymore. A police dog. <laughs> a police dog going after a protester. Got yourself a dead dog. Yeah, there. I guess I'm rooting for the protest. That's yeah. right. You cap that dog's ass in one second. But it's and not guess the what? dog's fault. It's, it's, and no, it's not. But you can't do the well. If the protesters hadn't protested, then the dog wouldn't have been there. And everybody can. Everybody loves to fucking go back in time to find a place like like the worst boss you ever had. And everybody right. listening to this, the worst boss you ever had is the boss that if something fucks up just goes back to a decision that led to the thing fucking up and then asking, well, did you do X? When he don't knows right, right, right. fucking right that you did X, well, you should have done Y and this wouldn't happen. What a fucking genius you are. That helps nothing. Like, you you don't seem any smarter. Everybody knows well, how. if you do that in the right situation, it's a learning experience, but that's not how... 99 right. percent of bosses that's would what, do it that's they what would do fucking, it in public that's what sprint retros are for that's not <laughs> like you never look it, at you throwing in some some quality some agile uh, so you agile because, 
you know, lingo. Nobody ever goes, <laughs> well, you know, if you hadn't decided you wanted to get from England to New York in a luxurious manner, the Titanic would have never sunk. Like, no one says that, although it's true. <laughs> right. So basically, I'm saying you're going to hear a lot of, you're going to hear a lot of elephant on person stories in this episode. Without a lot of details on the well, quality of the on person. The, on the relative moral character of, of, <laughs> right, of right. the victims. Some of them, though, yes. Um, Can we, do we, are we allowed to call them victims? Should we call them? No, no, no. no. We're going to, if, 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 if you get, if you, or... if, you get if you get killed <laughs> by an animal, you're a victim of said animal. Oh. Um, yeah. It's not, you didn't, you didn't go through an animal fucking trial and be found animal guilty and then be animal executed <laughs> because how are you going to get an animal jury of your peers? It would never work. So, yeah, it's true. Elephants, <laughs> animal jury of your peers. That, that hyena doesn't know Zootopia me. Zootopia two, yeah. the trial of the century. Ugh. So, <laughs> everybody. Well, most people know. I hope a lot of people know. There's two main kinds of elephants. There's African elephants. They have big ears. Then there's Indian yep. elephants. Also known as Asian elephants, small ears. What about the pygmy elephants? That's been not involved in this story whatsoever. But they're a third kind of elephant. Yeah, but they're not. They're not. Y yes. They're not relevant to this story? No, and I believe I said two main kinds of elephants. Well, when there's only three, how don't, can you only count two as the main ones? Don't bring in your fringe elephant. Because it makes no sense that the, <laughs> the fucking pygmy elephants would have been first. You know, oh. like... <laughs> oh, also, remember, remember the, other, the, the other week we were talking about evolution and, and I, I revealed how stupid I was and that I couldn't figure out how shit happened? <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Like the whole, the whole, well, how the fuck did the plant know it was supposed to be poison so the thing wouldn't eat it? Uh, eat it. Right, right, right. The piece that I was missing, that I will have you know you didn't explain to me, was the randomness part. Like, the plant didn't go, oh, I'm going to be poisoned and, like, start trying to... Oh, I thought that's what I said. No. Well, if you did, that, then that I didn't random, understand I maybe didn't say random, but I said... You know, some of them, they all change in different ways. And then the ones that survive are the ones that get to continue yeah. to live. So anyway. Anywho. I'm a creationist. You're not now, here so. to talk about evolution or no. pygmy elephants. Although no, we're not. We, we weren't here. That's how we got on this elephants. fucking. We're throwing the pygmy elephants in there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see the reviews on this. 13 minutes in and we don't even we haven't even talked about Ugh. the topic yet. You know what? You know what this was when you signed up. <laughs> so <laughs> elephants, also known as the whales of the land. Also Who known says that? as the lowest. Nobody says that. <laughs> the, 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 the lowest. <laughs> <laughs> the lowest flying birds <laughs> the the hands down worst knitters in the animal world I could see that there's no way they're gonna I mean get they do knitters. have a trunk so maybe a rhinoceros would be worse because they have the same kind of feet I don't know that's that's debatable so yeah but <laughs> so we're gonna we're talking about India, the country, and Africa, the continent, because that's that's where all the, the elephant action is centered. And, and we are going to have one story from Bangkok, Oriental City, the city don't know, like that. <laughs> um, there's one story from there, but that's, that's the, a pygmy elephant story. It's a fringe. It See? doesn't matter. We're stay no, no, no. We're stay I'm just saying, in order for me to further well, my, in Thailand was sex involved <laughs> yes 
It was was it a passion murder? It was a it was a rich American on a sex tour. Oh, so of he it was. completely deserved it. No, oh. in order for me to force my carefully crafted elephant death narrative down everybody's throat because I'm the mainstream <laughs> media, I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick with the main elements here. So, yes. India has 1.3 billion people in it. Yes. That's a lot. I remember when India just had 700 million. Oh, oh those are the days. Like yesterday. Said everybody in India that is suddenly <laughs> closer to So, everybody else in all of Africa, there's 1.2 billion. Wow. That's a that's a huge difference. So now well, we've gonna, done a lot to help them kill each other in Africa. So yeah, that's true. But also, we meaning white people in general. Yeah, not you and me specifically. Yeah, not us. Mostly Europeans in America and American. Yeah, it's, it's not like we went. It like started. Yeah, like after sending- I stopped playing Halo last night, I was uh, I had I had him send some cruise missiles to uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Benghazi Tell, or some other city. Telling in, country A that country B was talking shit about him and whatever. No, talking smack, a, yeah. So, Dude, you should see what they're saying about you on Fortnite. <laughs> Indian <laughs> elephants, the little-eared ones. Yeah, little ears. There's only top, top end number 25 to 30,000 left, which seems like oh. a lot, but it's not. It's not a lot. Now, they spend, much like you and me, up to 19 hours a day eating. Oh, and also, life. like you and me, I've they tried can- to mimic that life as closely as possible. So I do graze. Yep. But I've only done it up to like 11 hours a day now. I yeah. haven't gotten to 19 yet. Well, if you took more it's speed, hard. then you could stay up more. Also, I guess they produce about. Maybe a diuretic. They shit 220 pounds a day. So when they're like, I shit people bigger than you. Like, maybe not us, but normal sized people. I that's actually correct. If an elephant said that, yes, odds on they'd be, they'd be right. But they, they, they eat grass and tree bark and, and shit like that. They're not... You know, they don't eat, oh, these delicious babies are what I like to eat. Like, that's not. <laughs> but, they're, but they're super Yummy thirsty. babies. So they all need to be, they need to be near water all the time. Water all the time. Yeah. yeah. Now, conversely, African elephants, it's like 415,000 of them. That's a lot. And they're in 37. It's still not a lot. No, but compared to 30,000, it's a lot. Compared to 30,000, it's a lot. But that's still, that's still not, that's, that's. Ugh. It's not great. It's not great. It's not when great. When you think about how many there were. Well, true. It's not great. So they, they're in 37 different countries in Africa. And on one fucking site I read, they're easily recognized by their trunk. Now, that's technically true, but I think if you saw a fucking elephant, the thing that would tip you off would not be the trunk. The fact that it's the... Would it, it's like a 10 or 12 foot tall, giant yeah. gray thing. Yep. Like, maybe that would get... Like, I'm pretty sure I would say, hey, that's an elephant... Even if I didn't see the front part of it. Yes. Good, like I'm not, good, good is that call. a meerkat, a lion, or yeah. an elephant? Even mm. if you saw an elephant that had a human face, if it <laughs> and no trunk whatsoever, you would still go, that's an elephant. It's just that that's his face is. That's an elephant, yeah. Yeah. So the, uh, the, the African elephants have bigger ears because that's how they um, – Get it? They, they cool off because there's a lot of uh, blood vessels. Oh, it's like a big, big fan, floppy ears. Yeah, and it cools their it cools their blood down. Uh, Good for them. And figuring uh, out how to do stuff. So now the 
the biggest problem with elephants getting killed was ivory because of course it's they so were like pretty let l- this big giant animal has these two things that we like so let's make sure we kill it so that we just take these two little things it's like the equivalent of killing a person to take their teeth which i mean like, not, not nothing, because they're specific teeth but just because of the material that the teeth are made out of. Yes. Also, if somebody was like, I'm going to kill you and take your teeth, I'd be like, just take my teeth and let me live. I don't know if I'd... Eh, that would hurt. Didn't you ever see the horror movie The Dentist with Corbin Burnson? Yeah, but I don't... Yeah, I know. But also, dead that was is... was icky. Dead is dead. Yes, yeah, so. If they were going to kill me... Peace. If they were going to kill me and take my teeth, then they could just knock me out and take my teeth. <laughs> so now there's a few contributing factors for the fact that there's so many more African ele- elephants than there are um, Asian elephants number one population density Africa India's got to be the highest big. in the world right yes uh, well, yeah, from a country standpoint, probably, yes. China is a lot bigger than, Af- yeah, China's than bigger. India, and India has been catching up on population. And, and Africa has been actively trying to be like, hey, how do we not lose all the elephants? You know, yeah. elephants Yeah, they've good. been working. Yeah. Well, that's like, it's become like the, the biggest industry over there is, is ecotourism, even more than the big game shitheads. So they got to keep the animals alive to get people to come pay and see them. True. There's there's another interesting physiological difference between Asian and African elephants. Asian Outside. elephants, Asian elephants, no. The no. the female Asian elephants do not have tusks. Really? Right. So, African elephants, both the males and females have tusks. So when they get poached, they'll get either one. But the poachers that that kill Asian elephants, they only kill the males, which you would think would mean, okay, more males, less, fewer males than there are females. Then the, the elephant, the man elephants wouldn't be mad and horny all the time, but it still fucks up the ratios of everything and everything like that. Well, you end up with a, with a very small gene pool and you end up having cousins banging each other, you know, a generation. Elephants with human faces. So now, Exactly. And we were talking about, you know, I'm just going to say you should you should reach out to us on Twitter and find out when we stream because we talk about all this stuff while we're playing Dead by Daylight very poorly. We do. We were talking about China the other day. Poorly, that is. About whether or not we should be friends with China and whatnot. And I just found out China didn't make it illegal to trade in ivory until 2017. <laughs> that's that's really not long ago. Well, they probably had a trading partner that didn't want them to make it illegal. It, it's fucking anyways. It so all now comes we've down got, to money. Yeah, yeah. So we've got in one corner you've got humanity. Ooh. In the other corner, we have elephant kind. Yes, whatever that was. That's that was that was outstanding. It's a hell of an elephant sound. In general, don't think I'm not going to mix in a real elephant sound and say that was me. Right. Hey, that's when true I too. edit. Now, people Ooh. kill about a hundred elephants a year. That's it. You'd think, well, not counting poaching. I'm talking about, like, in a lot of instances, it's this elephant is fucking up my whole life, so I'm going to leave out some poison whatever, and it's going to eat it, and it's going to die. Right, like, like it's wrecking my farm. Right, or because some people like consider kind of elephants like just giant raccoons that are Big not... pests. Yeah, they're not good for anything. Yeah. Elephants on on their side kill about five hundred people a year, which is not bad. Them, yeah. 
It's a lot higher ratio. They're killing a, a lot of people per elephant compared to killing You're elephants right. per person. You are definitely right about that. Now, elephants also apparently are a hell of a lot more, uh, I don't know, wimpy than I thought. Well, aren't they, they afraid of mice? Well, yeah, that is true. They do. They do. They do wear <laughs> aprons and jump up fact, on chairs. Right? Yeah, 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 that's that's one hundred percent true. <laughs> like I, it, I, I feel kind of silly for not leading. Yeah, with I that saw that on a Warner Brothers documentary. They did. Yeah, 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 yeah. They two in the not too distant past got killed um, because they were crossing Just train for tracks. Snoring. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Well, shot him, man, just for snoring. <laughs> no, he, uh, he, they were walking across the train tracks and uh, it, 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 I don't know. It, it's 2021. Stop. It does not matter what or who you are. If it's you against a train, you're going to lose. It wouldn't matter. Yeah. Train needs like a mile to fucking stop. Like you can't if, stop a train like on a dime. Like level of import if you if you took I'm trying to think of of people that lots of people would a, a wide range of people would think are important. The Pope Beyonce and um I don't know, fucking throw Joe Rogan in there. There's a lot of dopes that like no, him. Don't throw Joe Rogan in there. Why? He's gonna get flattened Never by Never throw Joe Rogan in there. Well, well, if he's going to get flattened, then well, that's what I'm saying. If you put them on, well, the I don't track, want to think that he's important to anybody other yeah, than. Well, Aaron I mean, Ross. he's got a lot. Of, anyways, what I'm saying is, is that no matter who you put in there, the train is going to win. Yes, that so, is 100 percent true. Elephants, unlucky elephants, get hit by trains. In Aww. in India, in one area. Poor infrastructure killed elephants because like, what, like bridges collapsing and stuff. Sagging power lines. Sagging. Sagging. So boobs. the power lines. Oh, I got oh, too close man, to that... the ground. Elephants big. Like, elephants what? head touch power line. What did the fucking poles like tilt like at forty five degrees? Like how I, far do you? It. It. Oh. Jesus Christ, man. That's like, it's crazy. A swamp deer and two wild boars were also killed. That was the first time I found, oh. that was the day I found out that a swamp deer was Existed? a thing. Yeah, I've yep. never heard of that. Swamp Does it deer? have like a long beard and stuff? No, like, th- yes. How do you know it's a swamp? <laughs> it has magical and a big powers. strat. Uh, <laughs> the, it, it. Yeah, it was. It, was a fan the death boat. was accidental. Anyways, wow. I mean, no, yeah, no, it wasn't suicide. It wasn't elephant suicide? suicide. No, it was a, <laughs> and it, and an incredibly elaborate murder planned out by the most patient elephant murderer in the world. <laughs> <laughs> ah, now we have electrical lines going through this game preserve, and now we wait. And he just sat there every day. <laughs> wait. So. Should we go out and do power line maintenance? You should not. Uh, no so, way, man. As a matter of fact, but the forest department in Assam, which is a state in, in uh, northern India, they said 113 elephants have died by electrocution between 2009 and 2020. So they're not all because of bad power lines. Some of them are because villagers put up half-ass electric fences to stop the elephants from out. wrecking all their shit. Trampling their houses. And I think if there's no, unless you're Frankenstein, if it's something against villagers, you're always going to root for the villagers because you don't like it. <laughs> villagers evokes a very rural feeling. Yeah, yeah. You're not thinking you know like I mean? a wealthy somebody who's working to feed his family. 
Yeah. Or you know, just yeah, like some guy who's just just trying to just trying to live his life. Right. That's why. That's why. Like tourist attractions like to put village in the name because it makes it seem super quaint. Anyway, right, people right. in these villages are like, well, fuck. We got to get these fucking elephants away from here because they're elephants. Some elephants die that way. Right. Other elephants. I'm just going to I'm just going to fucking read this um, from the Hindu. A strong negative lightning flash with a peak current of thirty nine thousand amps at nine twenty eight p.m. Killed the 18 elephants and Kandali proposed reserve forest in central Assam's Nagon district on May 13th. This was 2021. That you've been <laughs> fucking around for like the last 10 minutes, and that's that's where you got. I got that first of all, it was about 30 seconds that I was uh-huh. looking for it. An elephant trumpet sound. And that's a good one. Well, yeah, that was a good sound. But now you're also going to have to cut in a big fucking lightning crash. Because <laughs> lightning killed I'll 18 elephants. I'll do it, man. 18. Oh, man, that's terrible. 18. Ugh. Losing 18. See, I almost made this the opening quote. Losing 18 elephants together is unbearable, but the autopsy report has negated any foul play. What? Okay, so it wasn't it wasn't Electro from Spider Man. Well, I'm glad that <laughs> exactly. we fucking figured that out. Like, for fuck's sake! So, <laughs> what? A, it wasn't Black Lightning, exactly, or Static Shock. It was still, the other one. The two and the two elephants that got hit by the train. Yeah, the same Assam, the state of Assam. There's there's a lot of oh, elephant same problems place. up there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they probably that's probably where most of them live, right? Problems. It's yeah. probably the least populous. So now, it's up near the mountains. Over in Africa in Botswana, this is where the the uh the the, the cryptid thing came in. They hundreds of elephants died. Of course in 2020 because of why wouldn't it have been in 2020? And according to the photographs, it they were pretty grotesque, and what happened to the elephants was terrible. And people started going that uh, saying that there was some big elephant killing monster. Oh come on! Because that's the only thing that could explain what happened to uh. these poor elephants. Except is a made up creature as opposed to a made up creature as opposed to <laughs> the fact that it was cyanobacterial neurotoxins that bloomed in the elephant's watering holes. So basically they got some brain eating fucking yeah, algae algae that or some made shit made them yeah. wander around in a circle going fucking bananas and then they died and it like ate holes in them and that's why everybody was like oh look it was a monster <laughs> but again elephants and maybe it was just because I was focusing on elephants like I don't have any idea how many fucking bears die of weird causes every year because I wasn't paying any attention to bears but right now <laughs> Elephants are seeming particularly fragile. Yes. For such large creatures. Yes. So now we're going to, we're going to do the, uh, we're going to, there's a big story at the end, but then I've got to, I've got to give you like some runway. So you, everybody can make moral judgments one way or the other. And we're going to do the Thailand one first because it's the outlier kind of. Because it's the pygmy, and you always lead with your little guy. Yeah. In it's like a leadoff hitter in baseball. In Pachuap Kiri Khan, yeah, a guy that worked at a temple was just out for a walk. Huh. Fifty-eight-year-old guy, and an elephant happened by and just fucking stumped him. And that was that. He's like, hey, uh, how's it going? 
<laughs> now, apparently, there were elephants that used to come eat jackfruit that was behind the temple. But I don't know whether this elephant had it in for this guy or it was just a fucking elephant and a person Looking doesn't eat jackfruit. To- yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just squashed him. So well, my daughter, she's a vegan. She uses jackfruit instead of like pork for pulled pork. So maybe he was just thinking like, you know, they say people taste like pork. So maybe they he do? just thought he was a big jackfruit. <laughs> that, I, I cannot <laughs> connect those things. That, that, that will not stand cross-examination whatsoever. The, really? It seemed yeah. to all fit. Yeah, no, it's a, it, it does not withstand scrutiny. Oh, so, I guess that's why I'm crazy. So, yeah, that's true. So now they're they're like, well, we got to do something because the elephants keep coming to town. And I'm going to say, like, it's all right, it's someplace far away, blah, blah, blah. They're calling yeah, vi- the villagers or whatever. We live, we live in a small town. Although, honestly, I don't identify like the, the, the town boundaries as a matter, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, since the, I never lived here before, it's not like, I'm going to yeah. screw you other town. Eyes wise, this town's huge. Yes. But back home, like in Maine, I had it in for other towns because, you know, oh, you sure. there, and then you don't like the, that yeah, town. The, that's always the dumbest thing. It's like, like the town next to you. It's like, we'll yeah. fucking kill you, Bayport. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Scrubs. Some like random kids standing in front of a pizza place or something. Exactly. Like, Screw hitting, you. Hitting, We're driving hitting, through your town. Getting hit in the face with a jackfruit. All right. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to go right. through, and I'm going to have you rule in favor of either the elephants or the people. Or the person? Yeah. All right. All right. This was 2021 in August. A so six, fresh. A, yes, it's very it's very fresh. 68 year old man viciously impaled by the tusk of a charging elephant. Well, first, I don't like your use of inflammatory adjectives. And adverbs, I don't, I don't know that you should daintily say that it was impaled? a vicious, da- I would just say impaled, and right. let me make a judgment right. if it's vicious or not. It could have just been a regular old man impaling. impaled by the tusk of a charging elephant. And how do you know he was charging for really? He could have been Russian because they were like closing, you know, the, the ticket window at the track and he had a big bet to place. That would still be charging. Also, <laughs> I'm I'm willing to bet that it would be impossible yeah. for a person in the, okay. Usain Bolt, he's the fastest <laughs> human alive, right? Yes. I right. don't think he could run fast enough directly at an elephant tusk to impale himself. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. But regardless of that, yeah, I I'm just busting chops and shit. Um yeah, I, I'm on the on the 68-year-old guy side on that one. I All right. I can't imagine what he he could have potentially done to provoke. Yeah, he wasn't um, like, the, "Hey elephant, I fucked your wife." <laughs> like throwing rocks at his head or something. It's like funny that, that you like say a that. Jerk. It's funny that you say that. All right. So now now we're in India in 2018. There was uh, a festival. And oh, there were festivals elef- are fun. Yes, and, it, and elephants were involved. Trained elephants. Poorly trained elephants. Oh, no. Siegfried this is like a Siegfried Roy, and Roy with yeah, elephants. Siegfried and Roy style <laughs> wild animal training. Uh, and you can find the video of this if that's your bag. Um, it's there were four people riding the elevator, and the elephant went. You know what? Guess what? You're not riding me anymore. 
and off they oh, went. No. And then he started fucking throwing them around with his trunk. Oh boy! And then the trainer, who was the most equipped to do something about it, found out you that would think. years of training and love cannot keep you alive if the elephant that you supposedly trained stomps on you because that's what happened to him and he died. So now I know how I will vote in this one. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to go with the the guy again. Oh, really? I'm going the other way. Uh, If, if If he left the elephant alone and not made money off getting people to ride him, he'd be alive. Think of Siegfried and Roy. You didn't laugh a little when the tiger ate him. Like, yeah, but don't I, you I want don't, Tiger don't King I guess... to get killed by a tiger? Oh, of course I do. That's what and I'm I saying. Would, I would. I yeah, I guess I didn't think of it that way, and I should have. You're right. Um, Just think of the movie Blackfish. Like that. Like the people. Yeah, the people. The people who own those things and to run those kind of like I remember there used to be a one near me that used to come around every summer and it was cages filled with cats, like big cats, and they put it in the fucking oh. asphalt parking lot. <laughs> I thought you meant just regular cats. I'm like, wow, your town sucks. Yeah, it was just house cats. They just walk through the bars. They couldn't even get them to stay. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, they, they didn't care. They just set it up on fucking on asphalt in the middle of summer. Like, fuck them. No, no I, I'm with you on that now. All right. It, Blackfish was the only thing that would ever make me root for a killer whale. Oh, yeah. yeah. Other than that, I'll yeet all those fuckers right into the I sun. Like, I'm sorry. I still like killer whales. I know they're, they're bad. They're, but and, that's and, because it's because they're smart and they're like people. That's so there not are a bad compliment. Ones. I know, but it's a fact of when your brain, like, think of how, like, they're almost as smart as people, right? Yeah. Like, not the smartest people, but they're smart as people. Like, think of all the things you have to do in your life, right? Yeah. To keep your brain occupied and stuff. You can read, you can watch TV, you can play video games, you could do this. A whale gets to swim around and kill stuff. That's it. I, like, where's it go? Oh, I'm going to travel to Alaska this summer. I hear it's beautiful. You know what, like, no, I'm not going to. Like they gonna don't have any that. of that. Blue whales. Why not? Blue whales don't even actively eat because they just have to open their mouth and they eat. But they don't have teeth or anything. That's right, not what how I'm they're saying designed. Is, is they they're designed with less, big strainers. They have less to do than killer whales. Killer whales are busy swamping fucking icebergs to knock the seals off of them so that they can eat them and the other fucked up things they do. the killer whales are equipped for that. Right. The blue whales aren't equipped for that. Using your boredom argument, blue whales would be coming up out of the ocean and squashing boats left and right just because they've got (laughs) nothing else to do. (laughs) Yeah, but there's so few of them that they wouldn't, they're too afraid of people now. Because they're smart enough Do you think they even be. fucking comprehend what a person is? Like, they're so fucking big. Like, what do they... No, they comprehend the ships. They don't comprehend the people. Yeah, what do they think everything else is? We're like right, insects. Anyways. Yeah, insects. So... Well, that's kind of right. what we are anyway. Here's one. I'll, I'll give you one that you're probably going to root for the person. Just because a 45-year-old woman who... Was she hot? Was she... <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a before <laughs> picture, you <laughs> fucking monster. So she was just she was just going about her daily business. Mm-hmm. And the elephant went, Well, today's your day. Chinu Depp. I got some business for you. Yep. And uh, this was in, uh, this was just this past October, October 2021. Oh, wow. Yep. In the same district, the Psalm. Elephant same Armageddon. Place, huh? Yeah. And a few days before that, an elephant trampled a 21 year old. Do you think that's what Indian a- news is? It's just 
people get elephant trampled attacks? by elephants. Because it's, it's like every time an animal kills somebody in the U.S., it makes like national news. It's half fuck Pakistan and half elephant attack. <laughs> It's got to be like L.A. with car chases or something. It's just, and here's another video of an elephant running it's person over. Fascinating. I would love. I would. I would love to go to India. Yeah, like, but especially because from work, like, there's so many fucking people that I. If, if I went to India, okay, a, I would be super lost. But b, I would add people to call. <laughs> right, you know what right, I mean? Right. Like, and one of them as is long as named, you're in the right city. And one guy. He's awesome, and his last name is really long and very Indian, but his first name is Clyde. How badass is that? Is that his real first name or his Americanized I, first I, name? I, I didn't ask to see his driver's license. Anyways, <laughs> I just think that, that India has a lot of shit going on, and for as poor as the poorest people are, they also have nukes. So it's kind of just like America. Yeah. Yeah. All just right. It's more well, crowded. We get that. Yes. All right. Now, here is a 73 year old man, Charles uh, Muticia, in Makweni, Kenya. He was out in his farm doing farmy things. Buggy. No, he was just farming. And uh, an elephant came and fucked him right up. The elderly man was found with his, quote, intestines hanging outside the stomach. Uh, That's too bad. So so basically, I'm figuring that the only way that could have happened is that the elephant stepped on the dude and he popped. Yeah, that's probably what it would have been. So... And for that part of him to pop, he would have to step somewhere else. Yeah. Because it would have been like one of those big water things where you jump on one end and the people fly up in the air on the other end. Yeah. I would not do well, either maybe, of those maybe, things. Maybe the guy was farming on the elephant's land. How fucking do you... Well, yeah, technically it's all the elephant's land if you take guns out of go. the equation. <laughs> that, we were recording... Um, we were recording Castle Rock last night, and Hannah and I got in a discussion. Did how many kindergartners would be too many to fight? To take? Yes. How many? How many kindergartners would it take for them to beat me, or you, or anybody listening? We finally settled on the fact that since they're idiots and they can't get organized enough, basically the answer is infinity kindergartners. Yeah. Would still not be able to beat a grown up. Yeah, I don't know. I don't honestly don't unless 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 they were able to figure out hitting you in the nuts. Right. But they do that by like, accident. Even though they couldn't hit be, that hard, but it's still they're not gonna be organized. It doesn't take a hard hit. They're yeah, gonna get all distracted. The they're not tough. They can't fight for shit. They go down easy. Anyways. You could just really just grab one and swing that one swing around, around as a yeah, weapon. Yeah, yeah. That, well, that's good thinking. I'm trying to – I bring this up because that's kind of like the elephant versus person fight. Right, right. Because if you put me up against one kindergartner with a gun, I'm going to try and get the gun away from that kindergartner because that's a terrible idea and probably get shot for my trouble. All right. Yeah. In southern India, we're going to go away from the, the poor man that got popped in Kenya. Okay. Two wild elephants – went on a rampage in the city of Mysore in India. Uh One guy got trampled, a 55-year-old security guard. The elephant also (laughs) knocked over a cow by headbutting it. He was cow tipping too? But imagine the fucking cow's day. Like, Like, you know what I mean? Like, Wake up, can you do cow shit? Like, and by your cows must be pretty bored too. So I don't know why they they don't spring into action and start murdering. But anyway, they're dumb and they don't have. They're not that smart, 
and they they're not equipped for it. It would well, take charging, and the, and that's well, uh that's a lot harder than when you have giant teeth, like uh. Well, those two elephants, like orcas do. The two elephants that came to um, town that day killed at least one guy uh-huh. and knocked over one cow. You can also find if you knocked if, over one. Cow. If you used to love Rotten.com and you want to find all these videos of people getting fucking wrecked by elephants, it's out there. I'm just saying. You're not going to get it on new YouTube, but you can get it. Now, here's one that's going to be easy. There was a herd of animals crossing a road in northeastern uh-huh. India when a bunch of dudes, like, from some job site started, like, fucking with them and, like, yelling at them and, and shit like that, ostensibly to scare them away. Right. So they were all tough guys, you know what I mean? Because they're like, oh, we're going to scare these elephants out of the road, blah, blah, blah. And they're yelling, honking their horns and shit like that. And then they... How'd that go? The elephant gave him like, you know, one of those head fakes, you know, to make you flinch. And then... Yeah, uh, like a warning, a warning little move. Then he just fucking ran right at him. And horror movie style... One guy fell when he was running away. He stepped on him. He fucking crushed him. Yeah. And after he was done killing him, he had a smoke. He just went back with his buddies that they they went back across the road. He went back where they were going. Like he he didn't It was like it was like one of us stepping on a bug. Exactly. Yeah, that that is actually a pretty good explanation of it so that's definite elephant side oh yeah i'm totally siding with the elephant on that then in denmark denmark there were some circus (laughs) oh so there was wild european elephants yes the european elephants um I'm just going to read the story as it's written because I I can't imagine the fucking in the Danish seaside town of Karabaksmind, a group of spooked circus elephants aggressively approached an elderly man on a mobile scooter and a woman with a stroller. But one of the colossal creatures turned away from the panicked humans and swooped on another victim, a car. Astonished footage showed one of the elephants chasing a group of terrified people before using the strength of its huge trunk to lift a car off the ground and smash the windows of the vehicle. The elephant clearly got irritated after being hit and started to push and lift the vehicle. The car owner tried to reach the car, but the circus staff... Now, okay. I was gonna go person on this one until the guy went he his car was so important to him that he thought that he was going to fight a fucking elephant all i can imagine is like like some guy like the like the the like drew barrymore's boyfriend in wedding singer where like you took a huh. touch my car like that kind of thing. Guy like, yo, elephant, get the fuck off my car. That's outstanding. And that's an elephant, 83 Trans Am for shit's yeah, sake. Yeah, it's an 83 Trans Am and you're an elephant. <laughs> Guess what's going to fucking happen? <laughs> then you hear about the guy in fucking Kenya that got popped? Jesus. <laughs> and then finally, before I give you the big story, because we're almost out of uh, time. Yeah, we're almost at 55 minutes. There was a German tourist who was just taking pictures of of elephants he was at victoria falls in zambia and uh right an elephant was like fuck you and picked him up off the ground and just fucking slammed him down (laughs) i know about you germans said the elephant to himself probably i've heard stories 
Now the guy didn't die. His arm, uh, he, his arm good. and leg were broken. Um, so that's uh, he's got a story to tell, though. Yeah, he's like, hey, got a story I, to tell, dude. I was just walking down the street one day. His fucking elephant picks me up. Oh, it's crazy. Yep. Found out that my grandfather was a Nazi. <laughs> and, and I almost got killed by an elephant. Same and I almost time. got killed by the elephant because elephants never forget. And the story of my That's horrible right. grandfather had been passed down <laughs> elephant to elephant. Elephant. So, because this elephant's grandfather <laughs> fought for the resistance. All right, anyway. Right. He was Jewish. So now we're going to get to the granddaddy of elephants. So you got like a big, big story to finish this up with? Big finale? Yeah. yeah. Oh, also, by the way, the issue with all of this is, and everybody pretty much understands the problem, it's Elephants have wide ranging territories because, as I mentioned, they eat like 300 pounds of stuff a day. And you need to have a lot of range in order to, you know, by the time you've you've eaten your 300 pounds of grass from one part of the field, like the other side has to have grown back and whatever. Right, right, right. And in India, particularly, because of just how many people there are, they are encroaching on the elephant's land. The elephants don't know what the fuck to do. They are looking for food. They're looking for water. They're looking for all these things and not getting them. And uh, it's not like, it's not like India. It's not like the motto of India is fuck elephants. Like I don't want anyone to get that. No, but I think I think in most places, you know, people take precedent over the animals. Yes, but there's even I understand there's even uh, there's a religious aspect to it where elephants are seen as sacred, sacred. So it's a big it's a it's a big problem. And one of the things that they're trying to do is plant shit that elephants don't like. Apparently, elephants don't like lemons. I mean, hmm. nobody does except people in bars, but I, I guess... People with a glass of sugar and water. Yeah, and they're trying to be like, okay, we understand, people, that the elephants are fucking up your life. However, we also have to care about the elephants, and they're trying to figure out a way to, to get their... Balance they're, it. They're, they're Basically, yeah. it's a multi-pronged plan to try and save the elephants so there's hope but it's not looking great and it's certainly not looking Mm -hmm. great for the elephant known as osama bin laden that's a cute name so in 2006 they finally caught and killed osama bin laden The elephant or the person? The elephant. And this elephant had confirmed, killed at least 27 people in a fucking elephant murder spree that went on for more than a year. Him and his murderous elephant gang. And like, it wasn't, no, it was just him. He was a lone wolf elephant. He didn't even have any, he didn't even have a crew. He, 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 and, and, and part of it was, it wasn't like he was just like, (laughs) it wasn't like he was just in an alley waiting for somebody to come by and then like jumping out and killing him. (laughs) He killed some of them. The Loch Ness Monster is Jack the Ripper. He killed them by squashing their houses while they were in them. Oh. This wow. elephant. He just did not like houses. Th- he was also a master of disguise because they couldn't catch him. He didn't have any tusks. So he stood out in, a, in an elephant lineup. And he was so bad. And this is weird. 
I mean, I get it was 2006, but if you had, if you, if you were going to name somebody the worst person that you could think of, I cannot imagine that. I find it fascinating that they called him Osama bin Laden. Like a guy who was alive at the time. Yeah. Like you wouldn't, I, I don't know. I mean, Osama, don't get me wrong. Osama bin Laden, very bad guy. I, I just can't believe that like in Africa or this was Africa, right? This was India. India, that they didn't name him like George Bush or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or somebody from Pakistan. Somebody just, from Pakistan, Just yeah. remember, folks, that if India and Pakistan don't make friends, I firmly believe that that is the most likely nuclear war that will occur. Because uh-huh. they don't have enough nukes to they don't have mutually assured destruction and i'm pretty sure that each one thinks that they could take the other one they could take them right so i'm i'm terribly afraid that if they can't get over the area that led zeppelin named a fucking song after cashmere if they can't get that shit straightened out there might be a nuclear war and that would be fucking awful because guess guess who would die more than anybody else Elephants? Elephants. They would send the elephants in first to fucking mind sweep or some shit like that. Anyway, Osama bin <laughs> Laden in 2006, they got him. They got him. They they somebody came out like Obama saying that Osama bin Laden was dead because they had they had given a shoot to kill directive, which I don't know what it was before that. I'm thinking that if one elephant kills shoot him in the leg. Double digit the people, shoulder. then you've got to take it seriously. Also, I found it fascinating that one of the one of the politi- local politicians <laughs> said he was not afraid of fire or even firecrackers. So now I'm thinking, fuck, they were villagers because they were just going at like if you had just had firecrackers like Dead by Daylight and you're going to throw them at the elephant, it's not a fucking cartoon. What do they care? Right. Right. I mean, they do have... Well, no, because the Indian elephants have the smaller ears, so it wouldn't even be like it would be extra loud. Anyways, conservationists, those pesky conservationists playing the role of Hooper in Jaws said... <laughs> This elephant was found in a different habitat more than 50 miles away from his usual place where he moves around. This is not the elephant you have called Osama bin Laden. And uh oh. The 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 the, <laughs> the mayor it was like from when they Jaws, hung up that tiger shark. Yeah. The mayor from Jaws who also was apparently the mayor of this town in India, buried the <laughs> elephant like super fast with his sport coat with anchors all over it. With anchors on it. Yeah. Um, Baby blue anchors. They buried the elephant right away to get rid of like any prying eyes. And one wildlife conservation is... I was going to say, did they check its stomach, but it didn't eat anybody. No, it just, just crushed squished people. them. Sumya Deep Duda, they checked the who was a wildlife conservationist, said they have killed an innocent elephant. It's an eyewash, oh. and it's a shame on the part of the forest officials in Assam. Well, did the murders? Well, the murders. Did the killing stop? Well, so at the time of the story, the uh-huh. biggest fear was that Osama's buddies would exact revenge upon the town. <laughs> Jaws 4. The right. Revenge. So, uh, essentially, the Osama bin Laden name became a thing because right. they considered the elephants terrorists. Which, I mean, uh. if you're just sitting in your house watching fucking the voice and an elephant like bashes through your house and squishes you. That's terror. 
So that's kind of legit. Yeah. So learning that, now I understand why they call him Osama bin Laden. Because it's not like you you can't call him Elephant Hitler because he's not like planning armies and shit like that. It's just one elephant scaring everybody. Just one bad guy. If the if if the elephants had the brains of killer whales, then we would be working for them. So uh I well, guess elephants are very smart. They're just not killer whales smart. They also they do hold grudges. They do mourn yep. their dead. Um, yeah. And I hope, and this is one of those, you know, I care about animals more than people thing. If we were going to do a, a Strangeful Things poll, which would you rather have happen? Would you rather there be a nuclear war between India and Pakistan that would, as a weird side effect, save the elephants. But they'd be weird mutant ones. No, 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 no. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm just saying that it, let's just say they had a they had a regular war and they and and a whole bunch of the people had to go to the war and then a bunch of them died so there weren't as many people and then the elephants had more room. Anyway, dead dead people, live elephants... Or do you want there to not be a war and probably have Asian elephants eventually go extinct because their land is being encroached on? I don't know. I, I obviously don't want there to be a nuclear war. Even I mean, if it's but if, like you, if there was going to be like one, I would want it to be that of thousands of, Oh, I'd want it to be there. Sure. I don't. I obviously don't want a, a China or Russia versus U.S. nuclear war. I don't want anything um, to happen to Clyde, though. Yeah, but um, yeah, that's tough because you know you don't want the animals to die out. You know, people don't. People are just you know people that are that poor are just trying to live their lives. Like, yeah, you know, it's, um, it's terrible. That's it, why I said, yeah, if it comes down to it, you got to root for the person because the the old guy going out to fucking tend to his delicious cabbages that the elephant wanted. He was just doing his own thing and then he got killed. Yeah. I mean, what, mm. what really should happen is that we should go back in time and blame the people that actually caused it, except. And, and I'm going to leave everybody with this that really doesn't have anything to do with elephants per se, but you can apply it to anything you want. And we may have talked about this, if I did, you can edit it out. Or maybe we talked about it when we were playing a game. The whole trope of if you go back in time, if you do anything, it's going to have all these grave effects for the future, right? Yeah. How come nobody gives a fuck about what they're doing right now that right. it's going to affect the future? The future, yeah. Nobody cares. It's all, it's all crap. Hitting nobody elephants cares. with lightning. Shit like that, like... Nobody, nobody lives their life like, oh, I got to protect the future. You know what I mean? Well, people do just not enough that it, that it actually helps the future. Although on the other hand, that would be a good, (laughs) if this guy went around killing people and his defense was that he was from the future and that he was saving humanity by killing. There you go. That'd be fun. I like it. Let's yeah, that's do a it. good. That's a good movie. All right, all right, folks. <laughs> uh, you can find us at allmylinks.com slash strangeful things. Strangeful things. Strangeful things. And I know we talked about the video thing, but Shuey and I have a lot of work to do after this recording because we are a multimedia juggernaut, right? Yeah, right now we're we're a single medium juggernaut. Yes, more not. We do post videos, than, but they're not really video videos. Hey, I have I have seventy nine followers on TikTok now. Hot damn! Yep. Now all you gotta do is those little belly dance dances, and you'll be fucking blowing up. I need to learn how to shuffle dance. You gotta shake, and, shake it like a shake like a belly dancer. Yeah, mm. no, that's not mm. gonna happen. Mm. So, 
I guess that's it, everybody. I, I hope that yeah. you learned a little bit about how our elephant masters hopefully will get organized enough to reclaim their lands. Yeah. Because honestly, we have more than enough room for all the people that we have. If we just all like, move I'm not, around. Honestly, though, I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell people how to live their lives. Oh, I do that all the time. That's just not me. Well, yeah, I try, but it never, never helps. I mean, you just don't tell them to their faces. You, you like, tell people you, how to live their lives, but it's more in like well, dis, sure. disembodied rants and angry well, like, diatribes. Well, like when, when we were kids, right, the U.S. population was, what, like 280 or something? I guess. Now it's like 330. So it, it's grown less than 20%. In the the hundred years since we were kids, yeah. India has gone from like seven hundred thousand to one point two million. They've almost doubled Billion. in that same amount of time. Yeah, it's a lot. But you know what? I like, don't know, man. And it's not that big a country. It's smaller than the U.S. Or oh, it's yeah. about the same size or something like that. But um, yeah, that's just a lot. That's a lot. That's like your whole country being like. Maryland or or like I mean, you imagine know, like, how mad you get walking behind somebody slow ugh. and then think about how the fuck you would deal with it if there were that many people oh yeah but yeah it's crazy but from a population density standpoint India comes in at number 29 on the list. Oh, yeah, because you got like little tiny countries that are ridiculous. South Korea is 23. Yeah, Yeah, that's a small, small country with big cities. Um, Japan's got to be in there, right? No, Japan is 36. Oh, wow. Because they have the biggest city in the world. Well, Hong Kong's number four. Number three is oh, Singapore. That's just a city. That's just a city that counts as a country. Two is Monaco. A city the, that's like a country. And then Macau. Which I'm assuming is the same thing. Yeah, it's it's um it's either it's that or officially it's a bird. the Macau Special Administrative Macau. Region of the People's Republic of China. Oh, yeah, that was a separate, yeah, yeah. Well, Chinese cities are crazy. They're all like 20 million people plus. But their elephant supplies are low. All right. Yeah, Th- not a lot it. of elephants there. Yeah, I'm probably going to cut some of that out anyway. Unless you're <laughs> actually, all right, root for the root for the villagers, but hope that right, they villagers, get their shit together. But definitely any poachers, hunters... They all need to um, die, but the city agi- folk, agitators, people throwing rocks at them, yes, workers harassing them because they, you know, they Germans people, taking pictures of them. Oh well, Germans, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of problems across the board. All right, folks, and any and any Danes, yeah, any Danes, <laughs> apparently <laughs> from Dane land. <laughs> All right, well, everyone, you guys, uh, thanks for listening and keep on flapping. Bye-bye.